Hello and welcome to this training session for Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. In this session we're going to be focusing on the elevator ride just because if you're just starting out it can be kind of confusing how to get it to work. So getting right into it you're going to go to rides, transport rides. Right now we're in sandbox mode and now we have the base section of the elevator. I'm not going to place it directly adjacent to the path, but I'm going to leave one square, one space in between. And the reason for that will become apparent later. Now, when placing the elevator, before you click in on the mouse to actually place the piece, if you notice the elevator base section itself, there's this half circle on the right side and there's no circle on the left. The open area represents where the elevator opens and closes, therefore where the peeps would enter and exit the elevator. Tapping the Z key on the keyboard will rotate where this entrance is. So as you see now, it's on the left, on the top, on the right, the bottom, and the left again. For our purposes here, we're going to keep it on the left and click in on the button. Now that piece is placed and it's become opaque and the next piece is translucent for where it would go. Now this next piece has not actually been placed and if you were to close out of the design mode here all you have is the first section and that's not really going to do much of anything. So we'll go back into construction and we'll click up to start laying the next piece. Now when I did that there was just a click noise. The click noise isn't actually a piece being placed down. If you've worked at all with Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 you're going to get used to a heavier sound, more of a banging sound. Uh, that's going to represent a piece actually being laid. The, the ghosted translucent light color is just an indicator of where the piece would go. So at this point I'm going to click up one more time and now there was the solid sound and the piece is laid. But once again here's another thing that's a little tricky. You're looking here and it looks like the elevator is going to be 58.44 feet tall. But in actuality this piece that you're seeing at the top, the cap, of the elevator that's got the lights at the top here and another base section. This piece actually hasn't been laid. It's this piece and this is the representation of what the next piece would be. So if I close out of construction then you're going to see here is the actual placement of the top of the elevator. So now what you have is you've got two levels. You have the base section down here and you have another base section up here. This by itself is not a complete roller coaster, roller coaster uh, ride. You will not be able to start the elevator because it has no entrance. You could just see how it's going to function. Here you see the opening and closing of the elevator itself. It's raising and it's lowering. But that in and of itself is not going to serve much of a function. So you go over to details and this is where you can put in an entrance for this ride. And here's where you can scroll through the different entrances. I'm just going to leave it default. And this is why I left the space so that I can throw the entrance right here before or in between the end of the path and the elevator. Now at this point, if I did not place an exit, what's going to happen is the peeps are going to enter the elevator, it's going to go up and down, and they're just going to get stuck in there and never leave. I could throw the exit down here, which basically does turn the elevator into a ride. It just functions as going up and down, so in that case you might as well make it very tall to add some fun factor. 
but we want this elevator to be functional. We want it to be something that transports the peeps up to a higher level. So I'm going to move the cursor, the pointer, up to that platform, the second level platform. And you can see the different locations for the platform. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually place it directly above where the entrance is. You're not going to see the actual exit platform until you click, but you should kind of have an idea that that's floating. So click, and there we go. There is the exit. So functionally, this elevator is complete. It has all the elements that are necessary. So now we can turn on the elevator and we'll be able to see it function and we'll be able to get a little bit of enjoyment. Fast forward this a bit. It holds 10 passengers, which you can see in car. It's almost full. And that's it. Go back to regular speed here. The elevator has gone up. The doors have opened where we expected. The exit on the platform. And they also get an added bonus of free fall. So there you go. That's all that's required for building a basic elevator.